Hey guys, it's Tim and Steph. We're here in Kinston, North Carolina. And we are about to check out one of the coolest, most sustainable breweries and distilleries around. This is Mother Earth. After meeting the awesome staff, we took a tour of the facility and learned about how their brewing techniques, along with their one-of-a-kind, LEED-certified building, makes their products as sustainable as possible. After that, we were lucky enough to speak with conservationist, community leader, art enthusiast, and beer guru, Stephen Hill. All right, Stephen Hill, and it's S-T-E-P-H-E-N, just to make sure. Okay, cool. Okay. This was the ugliest building in town. I gotta fix that some way. Yeah. It took years to figure out what to put here. And just one day, Trent and I were talking, and it was like, wow, we need to start a brewery. And it's like, well, we know where the building is. First of all, um, I'm from here, so this was the right place because we were giving back something to our community. But I came from DC, uh, that's where my last job was, and I worked on two things for Congress. That was marine mammals, and dangerous species. That was my whole job. I see, I saw both sides. I saw the ones who were wanting the change, and I saw the ones who didn't want the change. That was my job, is to mediate between the two and come up with the solution. And it was pretty awesome, but it taught me a lot of things about nature and giving back to society and the environment. Uh, that's why you'll see everything that we do here is green. It's because we are giving back and trying to have the smallest footprint possible. Before, I mean, it was five different things, you know, it was a barbecue joint back there, this and, and where the store is. They were stables, drive through pharmacy. Yeah, I used to buy boots over next door where the tap room is. Because we went after lead certification after we did everything. And basically it was just the stamp of approval saying, yeah, we really did what we said we did. The amount of light that comes in, the lighting that we use, all the chemicals or anything that we use for cleaning of our, of our tanks. Uh, most of our people ride their bikes to work, you know, or walk. Uh, solar panels, uh, we, we capture our rainwater uh, to water the garden. I don't know if you've seen the garden outside, but uh, we grow vegetables for a restaurant across the street. You do? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Organically, uh, no, nothing except for cow manure, um, which is from the grain. Okay, the grain goes to the cows, all right, and the cows, mm -hmm, and then it comes back and goes the in the cows, garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all the wood that you see is original. It's some, it may have come from somewhere else in the building, but it is from this building. The bricks, if we tear out the hole, we use the bricks somewhere else. Uh, so yeah, it's just reuse. Was it barrels? Yeah, barrels, yeah, yeah, barrel so staves. Cool. Yeah. And how long did it take to make that? That was a little too long. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the slide behind you? We did. We went on the slide, actually. Did you? Oh, did you okay. find that so it's about 60 years old. I slid on it when I was a little boy, and then they outlawed these kind of slides because they have stainless steel on them, and they burned your butt. <laughs> <laughs> they just threw it away, basically. And we wanted a slide to come from upstairs to downstairs, and we called the local Parks Rec guy. And he said, if you, if you could go find this slide, it's between this street and this street. If you go find the slide, you can have it. We went and found it, and there it is. Wow, the slide that you grew up with. Yeah. All right, the brewery was first. All right. Um, and then uh, the neighborhood came next, which is our arts and culture district. That came next, and that came from just sitting up. On the, I, I love rooftops. And we have a rooftop deck, which you've been to. And I sat up there, and there was a house over here that was boarded up, and it was just ugly. And we went and bought it, and we did it. And that started the whole arts and cultural district. But I think it's the visitor or resident who can go to this area and just understand that there is another part of life besides what's just down your street. I think we live up to our name, Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I think even though the name came before 
the rest of it. So it really is a way of life for us. Um, does it help or hurt? Um, I can't tell you that the bottom line looks would look any different if, if we weren't sustainable. Mm -hmm. uh, there's probably some things that cost us more. I mean, in fact, I know there are things that cost <laughs> us more, mm -hmm. but it's still just the right thing to do. So sometimes money's not everything. You want your grandkids and your great grandkids and everything that comes after you to be able to enjoy the same things that you have enjoyed in your life. And that's the only way to do it. All right, good. Anytime Cheers. Time. Yeah, but I went bigger. I'd, I'd like to be a whale. Really? Why is that? I don't know. I'm just bigger, same thing, just bigger, go deeper. Yep. You know. A little bit, maybe they're a little bit more majestic. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> you know.